Welcome to the HitLab New Zealand. My name is Christoph Bartnick and I'm a senior lecturer here at the University of Canterbury. I'm here since uh, December 2010 and my research topic is human-robot interaction. For a long time I've been interested in how humans and robots interact and how we as the developer of robots can make sure that these robots fit into our homes and our society. We are right now at the point where robots finally enter our homes. Previously they've mainly been industrial um, so they helped constructing our cars and, and so forth. But now they enter our homes. And the question now is how can we make sure that people will accept them into their homes? The main challenge that we have is not necessarily anymore on the hardware side. So we have lots of good robots, but the real problem is their behavior, their brain, if you may say so. Because when they come to, well, when they come to life, as you might say, they know less than uh, a baby. They have no instincts, they have nothing. They know nothing about this world. So it is our task to fill their brains with knowledge, ideas, the ability to reason, the ability to learn. One thing I realized when I started to work with these robots, and back then it was with the Sony Eyeball robot, is that he's roaming around doing his things, being all what a living creature can be, but then you press the on-off button and it just dies. It just stops. And you can't switch off your cat, you can't switch off your, 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 your dog, but you do this with robots. And one of the things that we were interested in is like, well, you know, how hesitant were people actually to do that? You know, would they care about their robots being on and off? So we run a series of experiments and we actually asked people after they interacted with robots, well, now you have to switch them off. And people were very hesitant, they were concerned, particularly since the robot actually started begging for its life. So it would go, please don't switch me off, you know, I'll be quiet. So we try to measure and how, how long would they hesitate until they would really go on and, and switch it off. And, and many people actually were quite sad to switch them off. Um, and this gives us an idea about that we do perceive these robots to be somewhat alive. We know they're not, but we still feel it. One of the exciting aspects about robotics is that it brings together different fields of study. Because you need to have the mechanical engineers that take care of the robotic hardware. You need to have the electrical engineers that take care of the motors and, and the signal processing. You need to have computer scientists that program and help programming the behavior. But at the same time, you also need psychologists. Because they are the ones that have the models of human behavior that you can then turn into a computer program. And overall, you also need to have designers, the creative arts, because they are the ones who make sure that these robots don't look like Terminators. <laughs>